the last um, aspect that I, I want to talk about, and this is um, something that is is also very near and dear to my heart, uh, is about social justice. And I don't think we talk about this topic enough in in education in general. But this is this is important. This is important. That's why I'm mentioning it. So. To start, let, let, let's start with that bad news. Many of you already know about the news reports uh, of the Calgary Catholic and the Black Lives Matters movement. Uh, if you're not already familiar, uh, here's like just a refresher of the news headlines. This is what they wrote. Uh, October 1st, 2020, students suspended over recording Calgary Catholic school principal using the N-word. And then a week later, October 8th, 2020, Calgary Catholic students walk out of class to protest systemic racism in the education system. Haha. -ha. Now, the official response uh, that Calgary Catholic had um, was that it, it doesn't tolerate racism. But for a lot of people, that didn't resonate um, with the actions that were taken as a result. I think they were expecting like somebody to get fired. Um, and this is a tricky, tricky situation, I will fully admit. How could Calgary Catholic position this issue differently without throwing its own staff and, of course, its own training and its own system under the bus? <laughs> How would they do that? How would they do that? Any ideas? Well, Pope Francis has said that human rights are not only violated by terrorism, repression, or assassination, uh, but also by unfair economic structures that create huge inequalities. And as your Catholic trustee, I would have said that I'm proud that Calgary Catholic produces students with the moral values to see wrongdoing, the passion to motivate their peers, and the resolve to engage in nonviolent resistance. It shows that we're raising children who are not afraid of speaking truth to power. Children who are not afraid of speaking truth to power. Because the truth is that racism exists in every large organization. Some might be, like, in this situation, yeah, some might be appeased if we made examples of those who didn't follow every policy to the letter. But if we follow the lead of Jesus, we find that, like I said last week, he's quite chill about the prostitute and the adulterer because they made decisions within the context of a society that is deeply unfair and an economic and gendered system that didn't give equal economic opportunity to women. Now, on the other hand, Jesus had no chill, zero chill, for systems that created these unfair structures that led to poverty for many. And that's actually my why for being in education. To create a generation of leaders who will see the unfair and unjust systems that exist in our world and change them. This drives all my work in education. It's why I created AI Parenting to teach our children about the unfair and unjust systems of artificial intelligence so that they can fight back and hack their AI boss. It's why I'm running for Catholic trustee, to see a generation of Catholics who recognize and bravely stand against injustice in our world.